Welcome everyone. Covalent bonding involves the sharing of electron pairs between atoms. This can be represented using dots and cross diagrams. We're going to take a look at some quick questions involving ethane, an organic molecule, and find out more about how bonding pairs of electrons implements the shape of this molecule. Let's get started. First, we have to draw a dot and cross diagram to represent ethane. This particular molecule is on the BTEC Level 3 Applied Science Specification for Unit 1, so it's a diagram that you should familiarise yourself with. Start by drawing each atom with a circle around it. Each circle represents the outer shell of an atom. Carbon is in Group 4, so it has 4 outer shell electrons and makes 4 bonds. The 4 crosses represent the outer electrons from the carbon atom on the left. This carbon atom makes three single bonds to three different hydrogen atoms and one single bond to the neighbouring carbon atom on the right. The four squares represent the outer electrons from the carbon on the right. The cross and square between the two carbon atoms is a shared pair of electrons. This is a single covalent bond. Each hydrogen atom has one outer shell electron. I have used dots to represent these. The diagram is now complete. Next, we have to give the formula for ethene. Ethene is another molecule that you should be familiar with. If not, you can apply the rule that carbon makes four bonds and hydrogen makes one bond in organic substances. It is also useful to know the general formula for alkanes, CnH2n plus 2, and alkenes, CnH2n. The answer is shown in blue. And here's the final part of the question. We need to describe the bonding in ethane in terms of carbon-carbon bond length, geometry around the carbon atoms, and the number of coordinate bonds. Carbon-carbon single bonds are longer than double bonds. We're not required to explain this, but the reason behind is that there are more electrons involved in a double bond, so there is a greater attraction between the negative electrons and the positive nuclei of the bonded atoms. Next, let's look at the geometry. We constructed the dot and cross diagram for ethane earlier. From this, we can see that there are four bonding pairs and zero lone pairs of electrons around each carbon atom in ethane. The bonding pairs of electrons repel each other equally. Because electrons are negative, the bonding pairs of electrons repel each other. The angle between the bonds is 109.5 degrees. I've illustrated what this means in red on the diagram in the centre. The geometry of alkanes is based around the tetrahedral shape. There's lots more to study about the various shapes of different molecules, but we'll save that for another time. And finally, a coordinate bond, also referred to as a dative covalent bond, is a special type of covalent bond in which both of the shared pair of electrons come from the same atom. The dot and cross diagram shows that there are no coordinate bonds in ethane. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Post in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care and good luck with your studies.